Pokemon Go, right? I love it! It's like the most fun app ever, right? But what the fuck are Niantic, the makers of Pokemon Go, doing, man? Niantic, you gotta fix your shit, mate! You've made the world's favourite app, and you're fucking it up! You're fucking it up, man! Listen, as much as I fucking adore the game, right? There are a few tiny complaints that I have. <laughs> to all the people who look at adult Pokemon Go players and say shit like, <laughs> Are you playing Pokemon Go? That's a kid's game. Grow up. Now fuck off, mate. You're telling me to grow up, but after doing so, half you bitches go home and post these fucking Snapchat dog filter pictures all over your social medias. How come no one ever said anything about this being childish? This shit is way worse. Do you not see how stupid that is? Telling me that this is childish while you're there doing this. What the hell? That's not being told to man the fuck up and grow up here by Caitlyn Jenner. Cheeky bastard. Telling me to grow up. Cause that's fucking adult, isn't it? Making yourself look like a fucking dog. Not that you need a Snapchat outfit or to accomplish that anyways. You're laughing in the afternoon, so don't touch and on the flip side, right? Some people take Pokemon Go way too seriously. Like dangerously seriously. Yes, GPS spoofers take the game a bit too far, right? But by far, the worst type of Pokemon Go player is the car player. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of Pokemon up this way. I am, so the difficult part is just finding this location. You're gonna have to keep going to Pokemon Go and seeing where your character is located at. Actually, first I'm gonna catch this Goldie. Oi, loser! How about you stop worrying about Pokemon Go for two seconds and pay more attention to the fact that you're currently driving your car while not looking at the fucking road because you wanna catch a virtual fish! Put your phone down and reevaluate your life, you pube face skater retard! Listen, before they removed it, right? Pokemon Go's three step counter was a piece of crap. Didn't work for shit. Didn't work for shit. Listen, Pokemon Go's three step feature was supposed to be like a sort of, oh, you're getting warmer, you're getting warmer, mate. That kind of system, right? But it didn't work. All this feature ended up doing, right, was being a dick tease. And I mean the bad kind. You'd look at your nearby Pokemon and you'd see a silhouette of some rare Pokemon that you've been looking for forever that would get you all excited and give you a boner. Right? But after you inevitably weren't able to find it because the feature was buggy, you'd be left with Poke Blue Balls. <laughs> ah, fuck you, game! Fucking Rattle Turn Pidgey Factory! Pokemon, go fuck yourself! App, suck my knee and dick! I'm out! Everybody out there, go and tell your homeboy there are only three Pokemon, man! Weedles, Pidgeys, and fucking Rattlers! These three Pokemon are all RC wherever I go! What? What happened to the other 148? Where have they gone? Listen, when the wildlife is essentially as diverse as pigeons and fucking rats, right? It feels like I'm stuck in England in the 1300s during the fucking plague. That sounds like a fun game, doesn't it? Listen, Niantic, you guys already sell things like Pokeballs and incubators and stuff in the game already, right? Can I suggest a new item for you guys to sell? Rat poison! I would happily pay real money for that. And do you think I'm exaggerating about how often I see these three Pokemon, by the way? Because if you have any doubts, feel free to look at my top 12. They're fucking crap. Eight of them have come from these three. Eight, man. But that's not even the worst statistic. I made a quick Excel spreadsheet on this, right? And I looked at the figures. In total, as a level 13 trainer who has walked 30 kilometers, I have currently encountered 216 Pokemon, right? And of these 216 Pokemon, the amount of Pokemon that either are or originally were Weedles, Rattlers, or Pidgeys. 131! Mate, that's over 60%! These eight make up just over 5% of the Pokédex, right? Yet they're over 60% of what I've experienced in this game! That's ridiculous! However, despite these three being well over 50% of all the Pokémon I've ever seen in this game, right? I have still not seen... A Charmander, Bulbasaur, Ekans, Pikachu, Sandshrew, either of the Nidorans, Clefairy, Vulpix, Jigglypuff, Diglett, Psyduck, Mankey, Growlithe, Poliwag, Abra, Machop, Bellsprout, Tentacle, Geodude, Ponyta, Slowpoke, Magneton, Dioduo, Grimer, Voltorb, Execute, Horsey, Goldeen, Staryu, or even a fucking Magikarp. Not a single one of all of these, right? Yeah, I've seen about 40 of each of these. 40! 
Niantic, why this much of a difference? Why is there such a bias towards this shit Pokemon in the game and not the good Pokemon? Listen, if you want a good analogy for Pokemon Go, imagine having a pack of Starburst, right? But when you open it up, you get this. That's Pokemon Go in a nutshell. And I know I'm going on and on about this, right? But it really is that much of a problem. Do you realize how tiring that shit gets? Knowing that all of these Pokemon exist, but only ever seeing these ones. Where's the variety? Why is the variety of Pokemon I'm seeing this fucking bad? At least tease me, man. Let me just see the odd Charmeleon or a fucking Primeape or something. And let me get into a battle with it. Even if my chance of catching it is literally 1 in 10,000, right? I don't care. Just let me see it. Just let me know that they still exist out there somewhere. It's still exciting enough to just see a Pokemon like that on the map. But I don't even get that. At least let me put the tip in. So why do you see such shit Pokemon then, Grade? Because that's how Pokemon Go works. For some reason, right, people who live in big cities and urban areas, they get much more and better Pokemon spawning around them. However, the problem is, right, I don't live in the city centre. And as a result of living in a suburban area, right, I get much less and shitter Pokemon than I would if I lived in the city. <laughs> that's right, mate. I essentially get punished for living where I do. So in short, right, if you live in the city, enjoy all your Pokemon, mate. But if you live in a suburban area, or a rural area in the middle of fucking nowhere, fuck you, mate. How fucking dare you live where you want to live, and not where Niantic wants you to. Enjoy your rats and your pigeons, right? You cheap fuck. Eat a dick. So basically, right, if I live in a suburban or rural area, and I want to get any interest in Pokemon at all, I have two choices. Either I pack my bags and relocate to the city, or I hatch some eggs and pray to the Poke Gods that is something good. And I'll be damned if I'm moving out of my mum's basement already, mate. I'm only 36. So I pretty much have to hatch eggs, right? And where do you get eggs from? From Pokestops, of course, mate. However, if the area you live in is too suburban or too rural, God damn it, Yante! And stop removing Pokestops! Oh, Jesus Christ! Seriously though, right? All jokes aside, I love this app. Right? It's amazing! Anything that gets kids away from posting selfies on Instagram, sticking their asses out, begging for likes and shit like that, right? And get some wanting to go outside and get some fucking exercise instead. Genuinely, that, that shit deserves a medal, man. So the complaints in this video are pretty much first world problems. Do you know what I mean? It's nothing serious. But that's not gonna stop me from complaining about it. That's what I do. But come on, Niantic. As much as I love you guys, some of this stuff, right? You gotta change it, man. Like the fact that there's an infestation of these three dog shit uninteresting Pokemon and the fact that they're well over 50% of the Pokemon that I've ever encountered. The fact that I get punished for living in a suburban or rural area. The fact that finding or even seeing an interesting Pokemon is way too hard now without Pokevision or a working three-step function. And the fact that there's little to no communication on you guys' part. Although admittedly, right, this one's looking like it's improving. But they all need to change, man. Now listen, who the fuck am I to tell you how to run your game? Do you know what I mean? But all I'm doing is giving a suggestion. These four have to change, man. Especially the first three, because that's not even fair. Like, doesn't everyone who plays the game at least deserve a fair chance to encounter and catch a variety of different Pokemon? I mean, listen, I fucking love this game, right? But for fuck's sake, man, if all this game is is me walking around catching these three pieces of shit, then what's the point? But listen, as far as Niant is concerned, right, that's all I want to say. Again, I fucking love this app, and I think it's fucking amazing. Okay, now listen, just to end, right, Niantic, I heard a rumor, right, that someone at your company gave someone an REQ no because of a complaint they made. So if you want to give me a legendary Pokemon like Mew or Mewtwo for my complaints, right, usernames mate69420, hook me up! Oh, listen, before I go, by the way, right, if any of you want to learn how to get a level 100 Pokemon in about 30 minutes in Pokemon Yellow, right, go follow me on my Twitch, because I'm going to stream tomorrow, and I'm going to teach you all, right? Right, see you then.